Good morning all, CamelbackTrading.org coming to you this Thursday morning, August 5th. We are looking at Window Traders Market Profile of SPY, IWMN, Triple Qs. And bigger picture right now is obviously this balance that both ES and SPY are in. This will be day 10 to start. Look at the Triple Qs. They stretched their six-day balance yesterday by 10 cents. Right now, pre-market, they've attempted to get above it. They're trading right now at 75 minutes to go, right at the top of yesterday's range. Again, any acceptance whatsoever above this balance and the all-time high will fall. The all-time high is only about 50, 60 cents away. They got to within 35 or 38 cents of it pre-market. So keep an eye on that. The bigger question is, once they get that all-time high, what do they do with it in NQ and Triple Q? Russell, on the other hand, still put big issues is they haven't seen an all-time high now in almost four months they're languishing again right inside yesterday's range you could basically treat this as an inside day they barely took out yesterday's high so i would use inside day rules coming out of it to the upside or downside you go with it and monitor it for continuation or lack of spiny yes was certainly an inside day so we will definitely be treating it that way all we had to lean on yesterday is the high, low, and our 10 wide point of control. Right now, we've been trading at the upper end of yesterday's range. Just like yesterday, we traded in the upper distribution all day. We held the single prints from the double distribution day. If we come out of this inside day to the upside, first target will be 441.28, and then, of course, the all time high and monthly high. If we come out of it to the downside, then the single prints will fail and there's nothing until the thirds low which is just above the balance low and weekly low so balance rules just continue to apply until we come out of them in the s p as far as destinations 439.65 was going to be an upside destination now it's a downside if we stay above it prior to the opening then we have 440.41, which is yesterday's low. 440.74, which right now is our pre-market high. Then that 441.28 daily high. And then the all-time high, 441.80, which is a monthly high. For the downside, first destination will be 439.65, 10 wide. Then we have 438.98, overnight low. Yesterday's low of 438.73, and in the single prints that started 438.72, get filled at 67, and then 436.11 daily low. Game plan for this morning, quite simple. Right in here, I'm not looking to do anything, it's too much chop. Now, can we take a short if we ought to push up against both, um, yet, uh, basically yesterday's high, because the overnight high is above that. So, you can take a short against yesterday's high. You can even add to it up to the overnight high. Any acceptance above that, though, would be out because then they're going to should be testing the thirds high. That's one short play early. Call play, really, there's nothing here as of this moment. Um, if we stay inside of here, any acceptance into M, we should trade the 10 wide POC. Again, in the next 75 minutes, if by some chance we look to gap higher, then you look to take a long because it's an inside day up and you get out if the gap fails. Or if we were to gap lower, same thing. Just go with the trade, but monitor it for continuation or lack of. And remember, balance rules are going to reign supreme again today. And then quickly on the chart, just showing you the daily again. There it is. So it's a nine day balance. Today will be the start of day 10. Here's our inside day. Now remember I said this last night, yesterday's range was very small. So don't be surprised if we take out both sides of this inside day, right? These short term players have a great um, history of doing that and doing head fakes and uh, stretching the market more than sometimes I give them credit for. So keep that in mind also. Good luck trading today. Have a great day, and we'll recap at 4 p.m.